All right, all right, all right. It's Mike's Minutes. Mike and Abinett here. It has been a while, gang, but uh, glad to be back on a live video. Today, we're going to start uh, the title of the uh, topic today is Humility, the Foundation of Success, and started with a quote from Brian Buffini. Um, we have to be humble enough to understand our own best thinking can get us into trouble, so we get help. Yes, and that is so true, because oftentimes our best thinking will get us into trouble, because we're not quite sure how wrong our thinking is. How wrong was my thinking? Well, I had no clue. So recently, I enrolled in a program at the encouragement of my accountability partner, Dr. Deb. Thanks. And wow, what a revelation. Um, I was fortunate enough to get included into a online sales pro boot camp, boot camp one. Um, and um, as many of you know, I retired from personal training a few years ago and uh, was trying to figure out what direction I would go for the next 70, 80 years. <laughs> well, um, in the past, about 10 years ago, I guess I had uh, I had a dream of uh, starting an online sales uh, business, uh, primarily uh, affiliate marketing, where I you know promote uh, other people's products or services, and then I get paid a, a small commission. Well, it didn't go as planned, um, especially 10 years ago. Things were a lot different. Hey, Luann, thanks for joining. Hope you're doing well. Uh, but one of the things that um, I struggled with back then, of course, things were not as the, as uh, advanced as they are now. You had to know all these codes and HTMLs and all this damn stuff. But so anyway, it didn't work out as planned. I joined different programs. I joined groups, and the only thing that happened was I got uh, more um, confused and frustrated. And after a while, I just kind of just gave up on the on the idea that it was going to happen. So. Um, yeah, I, I just said, okay, that's just stop, quit. Well, uh, then I joined, uh, you know, at the encouragement of Dr. Dead, this boot camp. And really, you know, one of the things that happened is that it, every day there was a task. It was a simple task that you had to do, you had to complete, and you posted it up to the group. And you went through these daily tasks, and of course, by the the thing that happened for me is that I finally started to connect the dots. And as a result of that, I felt like there was a possibility or a probability that I would finally uh, live out the dream that I had, you know, from 10 years, 10 plus years ago. Um, but one of the things that I realized is that uh, during that boot camp is I had allowed some stinking thinking into my head. And here's, I wrote this the other day in a blog. It says, we don't like to be told we are going in the wrong direction um, or making bad choices. And because of that, we often fail to listen to wise counsel. You can just ask my wife, Barbara, about that. Uh, it is only when we let go of our pride and begin to open ourselves up to heartfelt and meaningful advice, coaching or counseling, that we are able to break free of wrong thinking. This is when we break through the plateaus and begin climbing to our full potential. So uh, the only way to change the direction of my dream was to humble myself, uh, to listen, to learn, and to do what those that had mastered what I wanted to do had already accomplished. Um, you know, and my thinking had gotten to the point it was in, <laughs> it was in, I was in trouble with it. I mean, it's just... It happens often, and we have to be aware of that. That We have to be aware of our thoughts and uh, what we're allowing into our head. So the dream has moved from a head to paper and to daily action. And, of course, it all started with letting go of the pride. You know, the wisdom text of the Bible is filled throughout from page to page about the 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 bad side of pride and that it, you know, it's the humble that uh, are going to be the blessed. 
and we have to get rid of that pride and uh, humble ourselves if we're to move forward. So my advice is simple. If life has plateaued, but the dream is still burning, humble yourself and seek help from those that have done what you dream of doing. The results will blow your mind because they definitely have mine. All right, folks, that's Mike's Minutes for the day. Glad to be back with you. Glad to have you all on for uh, another live moment with Mike's craziness. Hope to see you again soon, folks. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye-bye.